Hello everyone, welcome back with our next uh, video for our series for the MBAM and BitLocker tips and questions. Today we have uh, another question which is an important question about the BitLocker and the bias mode. The question is, shall I use legacy or UEFI mode? By reviewing the Microsoft website official site for the BitLocker basic deployment and checking the requirements of the operating system and also the hardware, we can see in the section of the hardware, we can find the hardware uh, requirements for the BIOS configuration. The first point is a trusted computing group compliant BIOS or UEFI. What this means? If your BIOS is compliant with a trusted computing group, this means you can use the legacy mode. Otherwise, if it's not compliant, you, you must use UEFI firmware. As you know, UEFI firmware or EFI, it's coming with a much and more enhancement in the security more than in the legacy. The question is, what is a trusted computing group? If we look inside the Wikipedia and just do a small search, you can find the information about the TCG and it's a trusted computing group. It's a group formed by AMD. HP, IBM, Intel, and Microsoft to implement trusted computing concepts across personal computers. It's something it's called TPM. Maybe once, once a time we will talk about the TPM. The trusted computing group was announced in, as you can see, in 2003. And after that, many other computers and companies have since joined the trusted computing groups, including Wave Systems Corporation, Digital Management, and like Cisco, Lenovo, Janibar, Fujitsu, etc. For the full list of the companies that joined to trusted computing groups, you can use this source for the Wikipedia and you can search about them. So, how can I decide? Now, you, you, you have a hardware, um, you can check in the website, uh, the vendor uh, website about your hardware if it's supporting uh, uh, or it's compliant to TCG or not but most of a new hardware and laptops and computers it's coming with compliant with the TCG so this is an um, uh, important uh, question uh, you should aware about it before you decided to uh, use UEFI or legacy in your system our recommendation always to use UEFI mode to avoid any uh, unexpected behavior uh, in your system. And sometimes, for example, one of the problems maybe um, you're getting uh, uh, the BitLocker uh, recovery console each time you rebooted the system, so it's better to use UEFI. Okay. And uh, please, if you have any question, you can put it in the comments and it will be my pleasure to answer you. Thank you very much for watching.